the more you try not to say something or not do something or, or not you know, think something or not think something, you will inevitably do it. Yeah. You know, yeah. and without giving anything away, it's just like he he spends the entire time trying not to think, to feel, to say something. Yeah. yeah. And then he ends up doing it. And I think trying not to be something yeah. is always gonna be worse than trying to be something. Welcome back to The Vulture Spot. I'm Jay Jordan here with the director and the cast of Stress Positions. How are y'all doing? Good. 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 So I watched it. I was lucky enough to get a screener. Oh my gosh. Very funny, but very stressful. Oh, so <laughs> it's a film set in a time that we all remember, the beginning of the pandemic. Sure. So John, you play this extremely stressed out character yeah. from beginning to end. What was that like? Well, you know, it's my bread and butter. It's, it's really all I do. Um, I think on some level I must really identify as like a deeply stressed person. I, I really, I, my kind of favorite archetype in film is like the harried housewife. I so, also saw that there was this theme of both queerness and otherness, not just through queerness, but yeah. through xenophobia and yeah. through kind of these very ham-fisted questions about identity. Sure. And that was really fun to watch because a lot of times the narrative is queer people have it all figured out. And if you're queer, you get everything else right too. And that was not the case. Oh no, absolutely not. I don't think that people, by virtue of being queer, become better people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I think the Amen. but the but the one aspect of the movie is that there is a kind of otherness that you can acquire through transition. You yes. can go from being male to being female. Now, does that put you necessarily in touch with other forms of otherness? Does that make you the greatest ambassador to the world that <laughs> it's ever known? It's like no. So the whole movie is about these people trying to approach and or pass through a sort of threshold of otherness. And I mean, I'll leave it as an open question yeah. whether they succeed or not. But the uh, but that is the complication. That is the problem at the heart of this movie. What was it like playing an injured nephew in a basement for an entire <laughs> film, Kahir? It was very fun working with everyone here, playing a character that's from uh, the Middle East or Hello. North Africa. Hello, North Africa, yeah, North yeah, Africa. Yeah, yeah. 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 You know? It was um, also a dream come true, and you get to play a character that is putting himself in such a stressful environment yeah. and see how each and every other character are like taking bits and pieces from him because of the way they treat him, you know? Yes, yes and so John, you play the ish kind of ex-husband yeah. of John's character. Ex-husband in progress. Ex-husband in progress, the papers. Yes. Yeah, the papers haven't been signed yet. Well, well you so. show up <laughs> and you also kind of add one final complication to this already complicated series of events. And was that fun just to get to show up and really kind of like act a fool on, yeah. Well, yeah, and uh, I was so excited to get to play with John and uh, Theta's direction was awesome so it was really it felt like a theatrical kind of experience and the character is so fun to play so um yeah it, it was really enjoyable for me to you know play, play that type of character did you model him off of anyone you've met on fire island or in new york <laughs> fire um, island well maybe i i, I go to provincetown <laughs> <laughs> um, no um it's loosely based on a uh, toxic top i used to date in the 90s all right that's his name no, I will not say his name. No. <laughs> <laughs>